<laughs> to God be all the glory. Um, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Fresh Crown Ministries. Tonight is our Thursday night Bible study, and we are elated to be here sharing the word of God and just blessing and receiving blessings in the goodness of the Lord. We thank God for this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And I am glad that he has allowed us another opportunity to be in his presence and just to learn something new from the word of God. And if it's not for you, pass it along. It may be for somebody else, glory to God. But um, tonight we're going to come from mm, Luke. Mm -mm. Yeah, Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to go over the date because I don't know it, um, but it is in February. My husband said it's the 10th. Praise God. Amen. So um, let us pray. Father God, we just give you honor and glory, Father, for this day that you have made. We thank you, God, that you have allowed us to be here to partake of your word, to fellowship one with another, to grow in grace and favor, God. We thank you that we have favor with you and favor with man. We thank you, God, for opening up our eyes and our ears and our hearts, Lord God, that we may take this word that you have given unto us on this day, God, and apply it to our life, God, because the word of the Lord brings life, Father. Father. And Father, we thank you for opening us up today, God, that we may, hallelujah, be in your perfect will, God, and open us up to see, open us up to hear, open us up to perceive, open us up, God, that we may know, God, from where our help comes from, even the more, Father, we thank you for drawing us closer to you each and every day, Lord, as we die to ourselves, God, we pray, God, that you increase in us, Father, enlarge us, God, enlarge our territory, God, and give us the capacity to hold, God, those things that you have released, Lord God, in the earth for us in this day and this time and this season, Lord. We thank you, God, for all that you have done. And Father, we thank you for what you're about to do, oh God. We are excited, Lord, and yet we in awe. We reverence you, Father, for everything, God, because we know, God, from whom our help comes from, and we know that our help comes from you, and it comes from above. We thank you for everything thing, God, and nothing is insignificant, but we thank you for life, breath, health, and strength, God, and we thank you, God, for speaking to us and showing us the way that we are to go, not only on today, but each and every day, God, and we thank you in advance, God, for what you're doing, not only this night, God, but on the days and the years to come, Lord, as long as you have us to be here, Lord God, we thank you for the harvest, God, of souls, and we thank you, God, for healing, and we thank Thank you, God, for doing the miraculous in the earth, oh God. And we're going to continue to give your name to praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To God be the glory on this day. Glory to God. We're going to start with chapter 8, verse 22 of Luke. And it reads, And it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples. And he said unto them, let us go over into the other side of the lake. And they launched forward. And as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, what manner of man is this? <laughs> For he commanded even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Glory to God. What manner of man is this? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. So I'm like, Lord, of course, where you want us to go, where you want us to say, how do you want to do this thing on this evening? Hallelujah. Because I believe in this season that the Lord is not only, you know, uh, uh, opening us up to the now time, but he's given us an end time word for his people. And so we've been dealing with things about binding and loosening, and we've been dealing with things about God show us the way we are to go. We've been dealing with things about how 
He's coming down. And he said to me today, he said, calm down. He said, help is on the way. Glory to God. And one thing that um, it was a blessing to me is because even in the midst of the storm, there is still a stillness. There's still um, rest. There's still a pace. There's still a movement, even in the midst of a storm. And the movement is not about the things that are raging on the outside. Hallelujah. I always sometimes it's about the things that are raging on the inside. And so I was like, uh, I was dealing with a situation and I told um, um, one of my colleagues on today, I was like this morning when I left to go, glory to God, to work and this person pulled out in front of me. So me, Hey, being the driver that I am, I was going to go past them. Hallelujah. But as I was getting ready to go past them, they speeded up so I couldn't get in front. And when I tell you they hit the throttle, oh, baby, they hit the throttle. And at the end of the day, you know, flesh would have normally rose up and been like, hey, no, you ain't going to do me like that. I'm going to pass you anyway. But in this season, you got to know your place. You got to know where you fit. You got to know, hallelujah, that some battles you ain't even got to Fight. And then you got to know sometimes God don't want you to go forward. He wants you to stay in the lane and he called you to stay in too. Why? Because there's a plan, there's a season, and there's a purpose for that thing. Uh, hallelujah. I don't need to be in no road rage on the morning. I need to have a free spirit. So what I do, uh, I didn't get mad. I just bust out into a laugh because that thing took me down on the inside. Uh, it took me because I understood uh, my place was not to go before, but to stay behind. And sometimes in life, uh, we try to push things and make things be the way that we want them to be. Glory to God. And then when it don't line up to what we think it is to be, we get all discombobulated and we try to fix and turn or I'm going to do it my way or you did that. So I'm going to do this. But in this season, he said, calm down. Help is on the way. Now, I didn't need no help or no assistance to be in front of him or her or do anything indifferent. I just needed to have the peace huh, of God. God to know that's not your placement and be okay with it. See, sometimes you don't have to worry about who don't went before you, who coming beside you, who coming up in the ranks. You just got to know your placement and your placement is already placed, glory to God, because he already have assigned you to be in a certain kind of place. And when you have the peace of God, there is nothing that will come up to rock your peace. If something keep on coming up to rock your peace, sometimes you ain't got to check on the outside. You got to check the inside. Mm. When your inside is on the portion of the place or the placement on God of seeking the things of God to see him manifest and mature in you. Oh, glory. Then you will have a placement. You'll say, okay, let me slow my pace. Let me get back into this thing. Society these days, uh, everybody is on edge on these days. Uh, I don't want to get no gun, no this, no that, no the other, even no finger. Hallelujah to have in my spirit all day. Uh, so I had to ease that thing back. Why? because I understand glory to God that God has a way that I am to go and a way that I am to take uh, and I can't rush glory to God the plan of God hallelujah glory to God so I had to rest in the fact that my placement was where God wanted me to be I had to cease from my toil, anger malice or any other thing that would try to rise up in me glory to God and I had to have some peace in it I'm saying all of this to say that as they got into this boat, glory to God, it said it came to pass on a certain day that he went into the ship with his disciples and he said, look at here, let us go over here. Now, one thing about this, let's stop right here. When he said, let us go over unto the other side of the lake, glory to God, hallelujah, he was already giving them a commandment. He had already put stuff in place. Why? Anytime Jesus said uh, anything and he, it began to call stuff to come in alignment to what he already spoke. And so sometimes when it looked like the things are not going to uh, come into alignment to what we know they are to be, we can't get into a place, glory to God, where we worry it or we toil it or we got anxiety or fear fear, hallelujah, we got to know that if he spoke it, let us go over, hallelujah, that he going to take us over, mm, right there, hallelujah, I know sometimes we get anxious, uh, 
we get a little uh we get a little frustrated we keep on going we told them we frustrated we cry we're doing all these other kind of things uh, but we gotta know in this season glory to god if he spoke it he gonna do it hallelujah if he spoke it he gonna make the way plain if he spoke it glory to god then it's gonna line up the way it is supposed to line up then the bible said and they launched forward. Uh, hallelujah. In this season, you got to know, glory to God, that it's about progression. It's about moving forward, glory to God, in the things of God and the things uh, that he has assigned to your life. See, one thing we got to do is have a good balance in this season. Hallelujah. And we got to, you know, sometimes we're like, we over here, we spiritually this way or that way or the other. And then, you know, we doing something else, but we have to have a balance in this season to know that when God has usher the thing to come forth it's going to come forth the way that he has designed it to come forth hallelujah and they launch forward that mean they had to do some things in my study and glory to god it talked about the uh the the, the galilee river being so long and uh, um so many miles along 13 and so many wild miles wide about eight and it's approximately because they don't know to the to the fullest of the degree but in this thing that they had to go over it said it was about a five mile long trip that mean to let you know that in this season glory to god you might have a short trip trip or you might have a long trip or whatever the journey may be you have to know that God has already telling me and designed glory to God the thing to sustain you even in the trip if it be a short thing or a short test or a short trial God is still in the midst of that and if it be something that's going to cause you a little while to sit in there God is still in the midst of that so they launch forward in other words even though the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing that's not for you to stop look and wonder that's for you to prepare forth and see the goodness in the hand of the lord or what he's doing glory to god and they launch forward hallelujah see the enemy will cause things to come up to cause you to to lose sight of where god has already called you to be placed at there is a positioning in god there is a placement in god there's a placement in the natural and there's a placement in the supernatural glory Glory to God, and they was launching forward. And they, and as they, but as they sail, he fell asleep. In other words, he said, Look, everything is good on this side. I'm finna go ahead and take a rest. Uh, hallelujah. And isn't it funny how times sometimes do we feel like when God tells us to do something? Then it seemed like he get lost in the sauce. Uh, and as we looking for him to, you know, perform things, do things, shift things, move things, it seemed like he don't took a nap like he did over here. He ain't speaking. He ain't saying nothing. And, and, and that's the time of the testing and the trial that he going to see, are you still going to be faithful? Are you still going to launch forth in this thing? Hallelujah. He fell asleep. And the Bible said there came down a storm. Hallelujah. It wasn't, it wasn't a side wind it wasn't this that it said it came down upon them uh, some scholars say that that storm glory to god wasn't affecting anything around them but it came down upon them uh, hallelujah you gotta know in this season uh, when god has telling me or designed something for you it don't matter what comes down or upon you but it matters that you stay focused uh, and it matters that you keep on progressing uh, and it matters that you move forward hallelujah and it says that down a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and they was in jeopardy now the thing about this is you have fishermen who's used to dealing with a storm on the water they used to dealing with adversities they know how to 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 propel forward in the sea but this particular storm that came down upon them they had no clue hallelujah or what to do uh, it's evident that it shook them to a degree hallelujah for they to come into the spirit spirit of fear the fear fell upon them and it said and they came unto him and they woke him saying master master glory to god in other words i want you to hear me lord and i want you to hear me right now because i've gotten myself into a situation that i don't know how to get myself out of and the fact that they had enough discernment to call upon the master master god master in the name of jesus master can you come pretty much and 
help me. Uh, see, there's a place that you can get into, glory to God, when mama, daddy, sister, brother can't answer your questions, uh, but the master, hallelujah, of your soul, uh, hallelujah, will help you. Uh, he'll take you into that place that you're supposed to be in, glory to God. But you got to do what? You got to be in a place, glory to God, to be able to call upon him. Mm. there's a cry in the land glory to God and when you release that cry unto your master your daddy your God he will come down and he will deliver you but you got to be in a place glory to God not a complaint but a place of crying out to the Lord hallelujah he said master master we perish we about to go under we about to die but what they forgot is this the master was with them glory to God and the master was not going to let anything, hallelujah, overtake them. The master had been covering them all along, but they could not see because of what was down upon them, glory to God. And so in this season, you don't have to worry about where the trouble come from. If it come from above, the this or that or the other, you need to be concerned that the master is in the ship with you and the ship is not going to go down with the master in there he said and then he arose he got up Mm -mm -mm. that's another thing uh, hallelujah that when your cry out to God is so strong uh, hallelujah so sincere so pure uh, that your cry moves God uh, hallelujah the Bible said that he had fell into a sleep glory to God uh, but the cry of the men for the master hallelujah caused something on the inside of him glory to God his ear to her his spirit to come up hallelujah and the Bible said he arose and it did this he said and he rebuked uh, hallelujah the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased uh, hallelujah it's nothing like being in the midst of a storm when you don't know your left from your right how you gonna come out of this uh, how it's gonna all work for you but the master that you cried out to uh, he's always on point he's always on time and he's always moving by his outstretched hand he not only gonna show your enemy hallelujah in the midst of your storm but he gonna show you who he is glory to god and they ceased and it was a calm glory to god there was a calm there was a calm there was a calm and glory to god and in this world there will be no peace glory to god with that not the peace of the world but him who gives peace hallelujah a cause a calmness to come over your mind cause a calmness to come over your spirit cause you to come in alignment not be fretting not be wondering not be concerned about what was going on around you this is our problem i'm guilty um, the Lord just keep on telling me, stop looking at this, uh, stop looking at that, because where your mind and your focus go, that's where your power go. Uh, and if you keep your mind on me and things above, uh, you will find out that those little things that used to trip you up won't trip you up no more. Why? Because your focus is in alignment with the word and the will of God. Uh, hallelujah. He said, I cause a calm to come over you. That little situation this morning, it didn't wear me, it didn't frustrate me, it didn't make me angry. It didn't make me want to get back, but but it gave me a peace. Uh, hallelujah. To know that my God is on my side and he's not going to let me go above. Uh, he's not going to let me go under. He's going to put me right in the right place that I needed to be. Uh, it's a stillness and hallelujah. It's a quietness of a spirit and soul uh, where you cease to till, toil, weary, frustrate, glory to God. And he said unto them, where is your faith? See the enemy today, and I'm going to be done in a few seconds. Y'all better get with me hallelujah i'm excited and the enemy would think or hope that you would get so into hallelujah everything that's going on that you lose your place or your faith and, and, and all these matters of things happening going on and at the end of the day he said look don't have no faith in what you see with your natural but have a faith in me that I'm going to perform that that I've already spoken I'm about to do it glory to God and God not keep on telling us that he about to do it hallelujah and we look 
oh, we don't heard that word before. Oh, we, we know he going to do it. We have faith. But then after a while, when it don't come at a time that you think it's going to come, you get a little weary and you get a little shaky. But in this season, you got to be strong. Your eyes got to be on the prize and you got to push past the natural. Hallelujah. So you can receive what he's about to develop. See, in the point of the travel, if you read a little bit farther, this was not even a real, real rough battle. The battle was about to happen or what it was about to get into, but because deliverance was coming on the other side, glory to God, where they would have to deal with not only one, but a legion of demons, hallelujah, and see the miraculous hand of the Lord move. The enemy knew, glory to God, that if he caused the storm to come there and cause a fear to come upon the people, that they would not get into a place or be in place for the next thing that was about to happen. In other words, what I'm saying, what's going on now? Now ain't even the real deal. You got to be suited up in your mind that God is going to do what he has already promised that he's going to do. You got to have a faith in knowing without a shadow of doubt that he going to get the victory in this. And not only that, he going to bring me out. I'm not going to have to worry about no water coming inside, no boat to cause me to drown. Hallelujah. In other words, this is not the season for me to sink, uh, hallelujah, but this is a season for me to overcome. Mm. And so many people in this day society need to know that God is still in the midst of everything that's all about your life. Uh, hallelujah. He's still in the ship. And even though it may seem or appear like he's asleep, uh, he's not sleeping. He just waiting to see what you going to do. Uh, are you going to stay in the realm of faith uh, and stay in the realm of belief? Uh, or is your faith going to be shaky because of adversity set up? Uh, hallelujah. We don't know. Hallelujah you what their adversity meant for them glory to God but I know you know what your adversity means I, I know you know when things come up and pop up and things don't seem to work out the way you thought they was I, hallelujah you know how you feel you know how you look at that situation glory to God it's easy for us to look at something that has happened and put a judgment out on the people but what about us when we get in our situation glory to God when it looked like no good is going to come out this thing I, hallelujah we still have to have faith and believe that God is still in the midst of this. And they being afraid, wonder, saying one to another, what manner of man is this? Uh, when they begin to say, what manner of man is this? It's not like they was questioning his authority or questioning him rebuking or questioning the winds to come still. They like, whoa, what kind of man is this? this, uh, that the wind obeyed him. It didn't say that he spoke, he rebuked the wind, and it came into alignment, uh, and in this season, uh, God has put down in us enough, hallelujah, that you can look at your situation, not only command, holler, not only decree, but declare, but also rebuke it in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, and it has to come subject to what you say, hallelujah, Hallelujah. You got to be a person and a man or a woman of prayer in this book. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look, I love it. It's so full. It's so packed of different things that would happen. They had Mary Magdalene in there. They talking about him going preaching. Hallelujah. And, and preaching the word. And the word was what was loosening the people up. Mm. And see, that's the thing that the enemy thought that he was going to stop. Uh, he want to close your mouth. Glory to God. Uh, or stop you in where you are so that you don't open up your mouth and express the goodness of God to his people. Because in the binding and the loosening, those that do not know the word, the will, the way of God, they're the ones that are bound up, glory to God. But in the loosening, you have the ability as a born begin believer, hallelujah, to speak into their life. The preaching of the word was loosening them from every bit of bondage, glory to God, that they had upon their life. In other words, their minds were getting free, their body were being healed. Hallelujah. Demons were being released from them. Glory to God. So the yoke of bondage that they had walked in, they wasn't able to walk in those things no more. Why? Because he rebuked it. He ceased it. He caused a ceasefire to come upon it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what the enemy thought was going to be a perpetual part of that life, glory to God, was not because of the preaching of the word of God. That's why in this season, we got to open up our 
mouth and spare, holler not and cry loud. Hallelujah, that people will know what you stand, who you stand for, what you stand for. Don't bring no foolishness to me. Bring a solution to me about how we're going to take this thing over for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God, suffer violent, but the violent, take it by force. Uh, and in this season, you got to know whose side you standing on. Uh, and the army of the Lord has to be strong enough. Uh, hallelujah. To yoke up together. Hallelujah. Not with a yoke of bondage, but a yoke of freedom. Glory to God. To say that we're going to push forth the gospel because the gospel as it's being preached uh, is loosening us up. Glory to God. That we can walk in fulfillment of everything that God has caused us uh, to fulfill. It calls us the purposes. It calls the will of God to be, be, be made manifest in this season over our life. Uh, the enemy thought, glory to God, uh, that the trial that come, that you was going to stop, uh, that you weren't going to put your best foot forward, uh, but the trial, hallelujah, of your faith and the working should have made you strong, uh, and it should have given you peace, glory to God, even in the midst of all of this, to know uh, no matter what come or what may, uh, my God is for me. Uh, he'll give me favor with himself Self as I cry out to him and he'll also give me a favor with man. Uh, let me tell you something in this season, glory to God. It's going to be such a peace. Hallelujah. Let me tell you one more thing. Hold right there. Don't get so caught up because you've been in turmoil and trauma for so long that when he start making things be easy, when he start to open up doors, uh, that you don't walk into the fulfillment of what he called because you used up the pain and the turmoil of your past uh, and it looked like it was not going to change. But when change come, you got to be ready to shift and switch. Glory to God. Switch in your mind, switch in your heart, switch in your spirit that you will be able to receive the things that you already prayed for. The things that you call out to the master for. Hallelujah. The things that he already said. Give me a little time. I'm about to rebuke that because I'm going to show you how I'm going to walk you through this thing. Hallelujah. So glory to God. This time and this season is going to be a peaceful time, a hallelujah, and he about to switch to the, the switch, glory to God. And while he's switching the switch, uh, hallelujah, get your heart, your mind, and your spirit right, glory to God, that you will be able to receive, glory to God, the fullness of, uh, you know, I told you a testimony a time or two, probably going to tell it some more, hallelujah, about how I was with this person, they had prayed for the glory of God, and how God was going to bless them, but when the, when the blessing came from their cry, from their prayer, glory to God, they, glory to God, was out of place, uh, and in this season, you got to know uh, if you've been prayed about it, you've been seeking God about it, he's about to perform it. Don't get out of place. Uh, don't lose your purpose. Uh, don't lose your cool, glory to God. Don't allow things, glory to God, to get you off tilter or kilter, as they say. Uh, don't let nothing take the title of you. Uh, don't be tossed to and fro like a like a, a wave, glory to God. Unsound and unstable. And in other words, uh, be sober in your thinking. Be sober in your actions. Uh, hallelujah. Because a travel of your faith going to prove to you where you are. See, you know how sometimes we get real deep and we're like, Lord, just show me my heart. Oh, baby, he going to show you. And sometimes the things that he show you, be like, oh, Lord, I didn't even know that was still down in me. Uh, help me, God. But there's a problem. Hallelujah. When you go through, you can see everybody's situation, but you can't see your own. Uh, and the little master is saying, hallelujah, when you cry out to him, he is a present help in a time of trouble. And he going to be right there. Hallelujah. And he also said, listen, tell them this. He said, they're going to be amazed. They're going to be surprised. They're going to be shocked and dumbfounded. Hallelujah. How I'm going to work this thing out for their good. Hallelujah. That I may get the glory out their life. The storm came. He was asleep. But guess what? The glory of God was revealed unto them. Not only knowing the fullness of what the master was able to do. Hallelujah. But the fact that they cried out to him. There is a war cry. There's a cry glory to God that your mama when, when you was a child and you cried and your mama heard you, there was a sound that you released glory to God that she knew out of all the kids on the block that was you. Uh, hallelujah. And she came to your rescue glory to God. How much more is your heavenly father tuned hallelujah his ear to your voice uh, but you gotta do something. You gotta cry out to the master glory to God. 
Hallelujah. He said he's going to cause a ceasefire. He's going to cause it to be terminated. It's going to be discontinued and it's going to quit. You ain't got to worry about Glory to God, some of this stuff. Uh, hallelujah. When you cry out to the Lord and put it in his hand. Now, when you put it in his hand, don't be like, oh Lord, I tell you where the focus go, the power flows. Uh, hallelujah. You put it, you give it to him in prayer, and then the next day you take it up. Uh, hallelujah. You got to give it to him and leave it there. He's looking for us to give it to him and leave it there. Hallelujah. That he may get the glory. What kind of a man, what matter a man is this? It wasn't a question hallelujah it was in an astoundment and of, of how good he is uh, and the things that he has performed uh, and they got to see him in another dimension mm. and that's what god is trying to show us he said i'm bigger i'm more vast hallelujah my sovereignty my glory my anointing my power you don't even know it in the foot is what i'm trying to show it to you he said but you even yourself gonna be astounded how god gonna open up the door how he gonna work the miracle how he gonna deliver hallelujah because of your cry cry out to the right one we get in the habit of crying out to each other hallelujah but sometimes we gotta take it to him and leave it there hallelujah he said hold your peace in this season he said wait in this season he said because when i speak it ain't even gonna be a loud thing he said he gonna come in the stillness and the quiet and a whisper and it's gonna be gentle hallelujah so if you raging you gonna miss him if you complaining you gonna miss him if you doubt him you definitely gonna miss him because everything he do is operating out of the spirit of faith not fear glory to god i believe the impossible i believe that he's going to do it by his hand i believe that he's capable capable and that he's able to perform that that he said he was going to do if god spoke it he had already told him we're going over to the other side i don't know what your other side is i don't know how you're going to make it i don't know what it is he didn't tell me that but i do know this if god told you he's going to do something he's about to manifest it in other words what he's saying don't give up hope now because i'm in the midst of this thing don't give up hope now because i am performing it it. hallelujah you don't have to worry about glory to god how the when the why your faith gotta be in it he's about to cause the miraculous to be released over my life glory to god it does not matter in this season what nobody say or what they think hallelujah you gotta hold on to the word of the lord that he's already released over your life it's manifestation time glory to god in um luke glory to god he talked about preaching a word he talked about the women who was with him he talked about the disciples there's so much in that chapter glory to god read it and i promise it's gonna bless you that you can see how he performed one miracle after another miracle after another miracle but the people was loose glory to god because the preaching and the teaching of the word of god we gotta be in a place glory to god that we can hear and even when you read there's no understanding sometimes you're like oh Lord, I understand where is this coming from or, or how do this pertain to my life? Uh, glory to God. But I promise you one thing. He not going to leave you. Hallelujah. Seeking for him and you can't find him. Uh, the word of God says, seek and you shall find. Uh, and so in this season, it's going to be your cry. It's going to be your seek. It's going to be your pursuit after the things of God. Hallelujah. And it's going to unlock, hallelujah, the things in the natural and the things in the supernatural where you can go through on a bed of ease uh, the last thing he told me to tell you hallelujah you gotta remain in that thing you gotta rest in it hallelujah and it's not a resting where you say oh i took a rest i took a sleep like jesus no he ain't talking about that rest uh, he's talking about you gotta have enough faith to believe and stand on hallelujah what he already spoken it's a done deal and you gotta rest on the fact hallelujah that he is going to perform that that he spoke because he's god mm. hallelujah thank you i thank the lord for the word let us cross over to the other side hallelujah and on the other side there's gonna be some more things over there that you must accomplish 
You must meet the quota. You must do. Hallelujah. And even though it seems like it's a progression of it getting more and more and more, more responsibility is going to be. Oh, but much is given, much is required, glory to God, in this season. You got to know that he's already equipped you for the job. You already, because why? He put it down in you before the foundation of the earth was. Hallelujah. He had already caused it to come into motion. Hallelujah. And we got to, uh, we always say, well, we got to catch up. No, we ain't got to catch up. We got to be open up uh, so we can know and receive the things that he has already released in us. Uh, there's creativity. Uh, there's innovation, glory to God. And there's a new thing, glory to God, that you're going to see revealed in you that you didn't even know that was in you. What matter of man is this, that he will take clay, hallelujah, and deposit his spirit in. And then, glory to God, look at that that he has made and want to return on it. In other words, uh, he that calls you to hide your gifts, glory to God, but he calls you to open up and operate and flow in the gift uh, that he has already given unto you. We know that gifts and callings are without repentance, glory to God, hallelujah, you can flow, you can operate, but how much more, how much better, hallelujah, when you live in a life that is upright before the Lord, uh, that, your, that his anointing can flow in you and through you, that he can get the full glory and you can reap the full benefit of everything that he has released in this earth for you. Hallelujah. You ain't have to worry about nobody being jealous. Hallelujah. That's them and God. You just stay focused on the things that God has called you to flow into. I promise you, they all not going to cheer. They all not going to celebrate. But you got to know if they do or they don't. You got to know who you are in this season and who you are and who calleth thee. He calleth thee. He already know what he put it on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Now I, we have to get in a position to ask the Lord, Lord, everything that you have deposited in me, oh God, let me go over to God, see God, and let me be able to operate it out of a pure heart and a pure spirit that I may be pleasing in your eyesight. Your faith in God is going to take you. Hallelujah. If you don't have no faith or your faith is shaken, that's the thing that you submit to the Father on your knees. Uh, that's the thing you submit to the Father in your prayer time. Those are the things you say, God, help down my unbelief in this season. It's been looking like you're not going to do it, but God, I need you to help me. Uh, Master, help me. Master, show me. Master, direct me. And I promise you this, uh, if you sincere and you go after him, uh, you pursue after him, glory to God, he going to meet you right at that knee. I've never been in a situation, or I've never know anybody who was really seeking out of them that he did not meet where they were. He met the disciples where they were. He knew, glory to God, that they had faith was a little shaky, glory to God. But in the end of the day, hallelujah, he said, look now, where is your faith? Uh, hallelujah, if I'm on the ship, if I'm with you, you better rest assured it's a done deal. I just want to tell somebody in the day, the day, the night, whenever you see this, it's already a done deal. It's already a fit fight and the Lord is right in ship with you. Uh, just call on him. Hallelujah. Master, glory to God. I promise you, glory to God, if you seek his face, yeah, he's going to be right there and he's going to show you what your next step is to do. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord on tonight, glory to God. And we pray that the Lord has allowed us to say something that will benefit your spirit, that cause your faith to grow, glory to God. Cause you, glory to God, to go back into the things that you put on the shelf and know that God, hallelujah, is about to perform that thing. Uh, he not only going to prove it, uh, he going to show you how to do it, glory to God. And in this season, rest assured, hallelujah, if he spoke it, it's a done deal. And hallelujah, we just give you glory, give God glory, honor, and praise on tonight for the word that he has released. Uh, and we pray in the name of Jesus that it was beneficial to your spirit to know uh, that he is in the midst of thee. Hallelujah. He working out everything for his good. Hallelujah. Uh, that he may get the glory out of your life. Uh, the master have need of you, but in this season, you got to let your faith uh, show forth glory to God. And we thank the Lord for building up our most holy faith in this season. We thank the Lord for hallelujah, helping us in a time of doubt and shakiness. Uh, when things don't look like they're going to be on our side because it came down upon us, we wasn't expected, but we about to know in the name of Jesus that the Lord Jesus himself is in the midst of this thing and he going to work this thing 
out for our good. Tell the devil this for and no more. Tell the devil cease his fire. Hallelujah. Because the master, hallelujah, have need of me. Hallelujah. To take, hallelujah, the next dimension and the next phase and the next step. Hallelujah. To something greater. In other words, there's something greater coming It's bigger than this, Lord. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you get us prepared, Lord God, that we may walk in your will, your perfect will, God, in the name of Jesus. And we'll continue to give your name, honor, glory, and praise, Lord, to God. And if anybody do not know the Lord Jesus in the pardon of your sins, glory to God, all you have to do is confess and believe, glory to God, that he is. I confess my sins, glory to God, and I believe that he is. And I believe that he died, glory to God, that I may have eternal life, glory to God. Find yourself a believing Bible teaching church, glory to God. Hallelujah. That can take you from one dimension, hallelujah, to the next, glory to God. And know that God is doing great and mighty things in the earth, but he's going to use you. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. 